In today's video, I'm going to be showing you for free how you can clean up and cloak your affiliate links and convert them from an ugly link like this to a good looking link like this. All the information you need coming right up. Hey everyone, it's Graham here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I help break down various areas of an online business into bite-sized chunks to assist in your path to online success. Each week I release videos showing tips, tricks and strategies to help you become successful online, all while showing you my journey along the way. If you are new to my channel and you like and find any value in the content that is being shared and you would like to see more of these types of videos, please take some time to like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any releases from me in the future. So let's get into it. If you are wanting to clean up and cloak an affiliate link or a long and ugly URL for maybe a blog post or even a link to a service or product that you're offering a client and you would like to convert it into yourdomain.com forward slash whatever your product or service is and redirect people from this link to the product or service that you're offering then what I'm going to show you in this video can work for any type of link that you may have. And the best part is there's tracking involved and it's a free tool for WordPress. I know there are a number of other link trackers and link shorteners out there. And to name a few, there are services such as Bitly, TinyURL, Linktree, etc. But it does look more professional and will generate a lot more clicks using your domain name as the main redirect URL. The tool that I'm going to show you now is a free plugin that can be used with your WordPress website. So let's go set everything up. What you'll need to do is go to your WordPress website, log into your website dashboard, then go through to plugins on the left hand side here, go to add new plugin and you'll see a page like this. And what you need to do is go to the search plugins over here on the top right hand side and search for a plugin called Pretty Links. You'll then see it show up here. It's currently got more than 200,000 active installs and it's probably one of the best plugins out there to be using in order to shorten, track and cloak your affiliate links. So then what you need to do next is click install now. Now you can see that it's installed, now it's asking me to activate. So you hit activate. As you'll see on the left hand side here, it'll show you the pretty links option as well as all the different options you've got within the plugin to work with. What we'll do now is go to add new and create a new affiliate link using pretty links. You'll now be shown this page here where it says add new pretty link. It'll first ask you to add a title. So this will be the title of the product or service that you're wanting to promote. I went back through to my Clickbank account and just chose any product to get an affiliate link to pop in here to show you what we do. The product that I actually chose was called Super Affiliate System. So I've mentioned here that it's Super Affiliate System and direct to sales page so I know which area of the funnel it's hitting. Then your next option to choose is your redirection method. If you click on the information here, you'll see a bit more info on it. This is just saying the method of redirection for your link. So if I dismiss here and just choose the different options, in the free version of the plugin, you'll see that you've got three options to choose from. A 307 temporary redirect, a 302 temporary redirect, or a 301 permanent redirect. If you had to choose the paid version of this plugin, as it shows here, you'll get cloaked redirects, JavaScript redirects, and more. At this point in time, we're just using the free plugin version. So what these redirects mean, a temporary redirect is when you've chosen an affiliate program or service or something to promote, but you're not sure if you want to still promote this product or service in the future. You're just kind of testing the waters at the moment to see if it works for you. Then your best option would be choosing a temporary redirect, so that you can then change that affiliate link later on should you wish. The permanent redirect is you knowing that you want to always promote a particular product or service from now until whenever in the future and you don't want to change this link at all at any point in time. Then you would select this permanent redirect. I'm going to select permanent redirect. Then your next thing is target URL. So that is the link or the affiliate link that you are then directing people through to. I'm gonna just grab the link from my ClickBank account quickly. As you can see here, I've chosen the option direct to sales page. You've got a number of different options that you can choose on this particular product. I've just chosen that at random. The link is shown now at the bottom here. So I'm just going to click on copy. So I've copied the link and I'm gonna go back through to here and just paste in the affiliate link. 
Then it's asking for the pretty link here. So if I select that, it just says, this is how your pretty link will appear. You can edit the pretty link slug later. And your slug is this bit here. So your pretty link will be whatever your domain is, as it shows here, and then your slug will be the name that you provide it. So this product at the moment is Super Affiliate System. So I'm going to make my slug Super Affiliate System. Your last area to fill in here is notes. What this is, it just says it's a field where you can enter notes about a particular link. These notes are mainly for your own link management needs and is not used anywhere else. So this is for your own information purposes. In this particular case, there's five different links that you can use. You can then make a note saying what this link is about, where it goes to, whatever the case is. I'm not gonna put any notes in at the moment. Then going into the advanced sections on the left, You've got a no follow option, a sponsored option, a parameter forwarding option, and a tracking option. If you click on this information here, what it says is add a no follow and no index to this link, and it's recommended. What it means is if you've got a no follow, it means that generally the search engines will not be able to pick up this particular link anywhere, whether it be on your blog, any site that you're using, etc. I would suggest that you keep this ticked so that you have the no follow option. And in this free version of the plugin, this no follow option is essentially your cloaking version for this link. All right, then the next two options is sponsored or parameter forwarding. I generally just keep them unchecked. You can go through these in more detail on the Pretty Links website if you wanna select these options, but you don't really need to. The other one I would suggest doing is the tracking side of it. So if you click on the information here, it just says enable pretty links built in click tracking. So what this means is if someone clicks on your link and goes through to the service or the product, it'll show you in your dashboard here that there have been clicks on your link. So I would always keep this checked. So you've got your no follow and your tracking checked. If you move on to your next step here being your pro version, this is obviously for the paid version of the plugin. So because we're using the free version, I'm not gonna move on to these. But if you do purchase the paid version, then they've got more than enough information on the website itself for you to go through these and fill in the areas as necessary. So now the next thing to do is go through and click update on the top right hand side here. Now it's automatically popped through to the pretty links area of the plugin. But if you weren't here before, you could just select the pretty links area here and it'll come to the same page that we're on at the moment. What this dashboard area shows you is the name of the affiliate link that you created. You're able to go back into it, edit it, change it, delete it, etc. Then you've got on the right hand side here, the pretty link that you've created. So if I copy this through, so I'm gonna just say copy to clipboard here and go into my browser, paste it into the browser and press enter. You'll see now that it's gone directly through to the sales page of the product that I chose to promote. And if I scroll through, you'll see that it's got the full sales page and all the information relating to the particular product. Now, if I close out of this and go back through to my dashboard, it should show that there has been a click now on the affiliate link. So if I refresh the page, you'll see now one of one clicks. So now you know that this link is working and it's tracking the clicks for the link. And if you wanna go into further detail to see the information around all the clicks, you would just select this area here and it'll provide you a dashboard of the date and the number of clicks that went through this particular link. It'll also show you the link, it'll show you the timestamp and even the IP address of the person that clicked through this link. And you're able to download the information too, should you so wish. As you can see, the plugin is very simple and easy to use and fairly straightforward and get your affiliate link set up and ready to go. What I do suggest in future, if you've got a number of affiliate links sitting in this dashboard, let's say for example, it's 50 or even 100 affiliate links, it would be best for you to, on a random basis, maybe once a month, for example, go through each of the links and make sure that they are still working. What may happen is maybe there's something wrong with the plugin itself, which generally isn't the case. What is usually the problem is that the affiliate page themselves may have possibly changed the URL to the product or service that you're promoting. So you may need to just go through these links and make sure that they are still working. Otherwise, if they're not, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of money. So with the process we've just discussed, you'll see that you have now turned this ugly link which has got a whole bunch of random numbers and letters and doesn't look particularly inviting at all so not many people will be willing to click on this link now you've turned it into a good looking link which has got your branding based on your website url it's more inviting it's more professional people will be more inclined to click on this link
The method you've just seen now is probably one of the best methods to use and free methods to clean up and cloak your affiliate links. There you have it ladies and gents. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button as it'll really help out this channel and help us with the YouTube algorithm and help us reach more people who need to see videos like this. If you did find value in the video and you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future releases from me. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day. We'll chat soon. Cheers.